Good morning, I'm upstairs feeding critters. Critters, critters, one of which is this critter. Yeah, Ebony, Ebony's very lonely right now. Ebony usually does not come down because she doesn't like the crowd, I don't think. But uh, Megan's been away all week. And so Ebony's really, 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 Dad, I try to come up here, scratch your ears. She loves her ears scratched. But I need to feed these guys. I wish I could spend more time with you. There's just not enough of me to go around. Too many critters. Too many critters. Good morning, everybody. It's, what is it? It's Thursday. I have problems with Thursdays, apparently. It's one of those days that it's not quite anywhere. It's after hump day, it's before the weekend, so it's just Thursday. Well, I'm going to the post office. I have some paperwork that I have to mail off. I cannot just email it. Very strange. It's in the, a modern day that you actually have to mail certain things, but it has stuff with signatures on it, so it has to be original. So that's what I'm doing. And while I'm there, I'm going to check our uh, mailbox for the neighbors, see if we got any happy mail. And um, I need to put some gas in my truck because I'm running on fumes right now. So that's the first thing I need to get done. Then I'm going to, I need to move the refrigerator and that's going to be a bit of a production. All right, I'm having a hell of a time finding um, Post office, they've got the they've got this place so tore up. I do not know where Grand Avenue is anymore. Alright guys, here's my next adventure for today. I want to try and get some more of my floor done, but before I can do anything, I have to get the refrigerator back into its little cove over here. And the first thing I got to do is I have to get it over this uh, tile. And the tile is a half inch thick. And if you look at the front of my refrigerator, I have this foot that goes right down to the floor. And if I try to run that over the tile, it's just going to destroy the tile. So I have to figure out a way to get this up and over. I may have to remove this little foot. So we'll have to see what happens. Meantime, Freckles wants something. I can't quite figure out what it is. It's probably food. Okay, so here's part of my solution. I'm going, I got this little piece of carpeting that I cut up and put it up against the tile. I'm going to put an 1 8 inch thick piece of pegboard over that and I'm going to try and put the refrigerator across that. And I just realized that my pegboard is not as wide as my refrigerator. So I'll need another piece. All right, Boomer. And of course, trying to get anything done when I have this is difficult. Okay, so here's my solution to my dilemma. I've got two pieces of uh, uh, eighth inch board. This is just hardboard, the other one is pegboard. They're basically the same thickness. Uh, I didn't have enough to go all the way across the refrigerator because it's a 36 inch wide refrigerator, three feet wide. Now uh, I'm going to push it up backwards, that way I don't have to remove those stabilizing feet from the front. And I discovered that the wheels in the back are about here. So um, uh, that should 
it should I should be able to get most of the refrigerator over the board before I hit the wheels so that should hold the craft paper down and it should just slide right up and I put craft paper all the way up to the opening and uh, that way I won't do any damage any other damage to the tiles uh, I've also taken a large majority of stuff out of the refrigerator to make the move so I'm not trying to move everything there wasn't a lot in there anyway but I got the tall stuff out of the way that would fall over and, and break possibly if um, if that happens so I'm gonna set this camera up on a tripod and see if this works uh-huh Okay, so this is what I was trying to avoid, but it still damaged the tile. So it's not too bad, it's just a little bite. I could fill that in. This refrigerator is now in, water hooked up. Okay, so my next step is going to be pulling the dishwasher. So first thing I need to do is turn off the water and power to it. And I know I bolted it to the top here, so I'll have to figure that out as well. And what I don't remember... Uh, yeah, I'd say it has a good half inch to go. Yeah, I'd say there's about an inch to spare, so I'll be okay. So I have to disconnect all of this to uh, the... Hey! Been looking for that! Wow, I just buried it, didn't I? Ended up buying a new one. That's this thing. I wonder if it still works. We'll have to see. Well, uh, so I'm going to be disconnecting all of this and um, I need to put the dishwasher... Have the craft paper still out. Uh, it's really light, so I'm not concerned about damage to the floor but I'll sit it on top of some craft paper to avoid scratching it and then I could start um, uh, cleaning the floor taking all the gook off of it so I could start some more tiling. Alright so I ran out of gas before I got any tile down. Uh, the problem of course is the evenness of the floor right now there's still stuff stuck to the floor and it's taken a lot to get it up. I'm having a hard time. So and I just wanted to get up I'm going to have to put two rows down, and I'm still having trouble. So I ran out of gas, and I will be putting them down tomorrow. So I made myself some chicken for dinner. So uh, I already ate, and these will be lunch and dinner for the next couple of days. And um, i got to do the dishes. Yeah. All right, guys, so that's it from California. And... Um, Daryl's just clowning around right now. Uh, I don't know if you know, noticed on my Instagram that Aaron Goodwin actually commented on Bones. And if you don't know who Aaron Goodwin is, he's the one who is the big stepping uh, brand clothing. Look him up. And um, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.